Okay, piecewise function. So this is the second part of unit nine. Hopefully you have the notes with you. Okay, let's get through this. So um, to sketch piecewise functions, it's basically what we've been doing, but now we're just going to break it up into pieces. Okay, that's why it's called a piecewise function. So the first thing we do is we're going to look at, we have the right side of this. So we have f of x equals 2x when x is less than 3, and x plus 1 when x is greater than or equal to 3. So at that number 3, we're going to sketch a line. So we're going to go over to our graph and sketch a line at 3. Okay? And then we're going to do this by drawing tables. Okay? Tables are going to save our butt here. We're going to start with our first table for that top function, so for 2x. And this is when it's less than 3, so that means that 3 has to be the biggest number. If you struggle with that, draw a number line. And we can go to 3. And less than 3 is everything in that direction. Okay, whatever way this is pointing is whatever way this is going to go. So that's going to be 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, and so on. Okay, so now we're just going to plug in these values. So we can do f of 3, which is 2 times 3, because we're using this right here. And I'm just plugging this in. 2 times 3, whoops, what's happening? Sorry, 2 times 3, which is 6. So that is 6. f of 2, 2 times 2, which is 4. f of 1, 2 times 1, which is 2 f of 0, 2 times 0, which is 0, and f of negative 1, which is 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2. Okay? And then we can draw these points. So if it's equal to, so if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, it's a closed circle. Write this down. You have to write this part right here down. If it's not equal to, it is an open circle. Okay? Okay? So that one is open because it is not equal to, which means that that point right there at 3 is open. So we're going to go to 3, 6, and we're going to draw an open circle on our graph. And then 2, 4, 1, 2, 0, 0, negative 1, negative 2. And there's that right there. Okay? Okay. And let's do the same thing and draw a table for that second part of this. So f of x now equals x plus 1. And this is when it's greater than or equal to 3. So that's going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, if you need to draw a number line, you can. It'd be 3. And this is pointing that way. So it's everything greater than. So that's where we got 4, 5, 6. Whoops. 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now we're just going to plug them in. So f of 3 is 3 plus 1, which is 4. f of 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. f of 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. f of 6, 6 plus 1 is 7. f of 7, 7 plus 1 is 8. Now that is equal to, greater than or equal to, which means it's a closed circle. So this point right there is going to be closed. So at 3, 4, we have a closed circle. 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8. Okay, and you only have to worry about open and closed circles on that line. So on the x equals 3 line. And there's our graph. Okay, so then we have to identify the domain and range. So the domain, that's your x values. So if we move along this graph left to right, here, this is going to go down to negative infinity, or to, yeah, this is going from negative infinity, because that's going to keep going this way. So negative infinity, clear till 3, and it's an open circle there, which means it's not equal there. But then we jump down here, and it's a closed circle, and we continue going to infinity. So that means that our domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Range is your y values. Same concept, so this goes down forever, so that's going to go up, and then see how it crosses right there, and then we have a double thing going on right there? 
there's no values in there that we're missing because even though we have an open circle there, we have the closed circle right there. So we're good. That means our range is negative infinity to positive infinity. Cool? Let's do one more. So this time we have two values that we have to sketch. So at negative three, we're going to draw a line. And at one, we're going to draw a line. Then we're going to do our table. And my x values here are from negative 3 to 1. It gives us the range right here. Negative 3 is the lowest value. 1 is the highest. So that's why I went negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. Okay? Negative 2 times negative 3 plus 1. That's going to be 7. Plug in negative 2 and you get 5. Plug in negative 1, so negative 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus, or is positive 2, plus 1 would be 3. If you need to, just plug it into your calculator. 0 would be 1, and 1 would be negative 1. Now at negative 3, we have a closed circle, because that's equal. And at 1, we have an open circle, because that's not equal to. Okay, so negative 3, 7, we have a closed circle. Negative 2, 5, negative 1, 3, 0, 1, 1, negative 1. And at 1, negative 1, it's an open circle. And then we have that line right there. We have to draw the other side of this graph, so the x squared. And this is when it's greater than or equal to 1, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Plug in 1 and you get 1, because 1 squared is 1. Plug in 2, 2 squared is 4. Plug in 3, 3 squared is 9. Plug in 4, 4 squared is 16. Plug in 5, 5 squared is 25. At 1, it's a closed circle, so 1, 1, closed. And then 2, 4, 3, 9, 4, 16 is off the graph, so there's that piece of the graph. Okay, the domain here, that's your x values, so we see how far left and right we can go. So the furthest left this graph goes is negative 3, and it's a closed bracket, or it's a bracket there because it's an actual point, it's not an open circle, and it goes to the right forever. The range is your y value, so we go bottom to top. The smallest y value that ever hits is negative 1, but it's an open circle there. So that means it gets infinitely close to negative 1, but it doesn't actually touch the point. So it's going to be negative 1, and then it goes up forever, so 2 infinity. Okay, we're going to save those last two examples for class. Please remember to take the quiz. You guys are awesome. Goodbye.